North American accounts of the giant skeletons that were found in the Ohio and Pennsylvania Valley. I'm talking everything from 10 to 12 foot tall guys found in copper armor. And the more I investigated, I found out it was a worldwide situation where we're talking some really big skeletons Jeez. all the way up to 36 feet tall. If we only had basketball then, huh? Well, I can tell you this. When, when some of these guys, some of the British giants, for instance, one guy specifically, listen to this, a guy by the name of William Joyce in the late 1800s, he could lift a ton dead weight. In other words, 2,000 pounds. And that you're only talking about, about a guy that was eight, you know, eight feet tall. So I think the situation <laughs> that most people find uh, in history is there are too many question marks. And when you're looking at the temples of the world, and you're looking at all of the, uh, what would you say, the the answers that are out there, but seemingly are, you know, swept under the rug. I think it becomes apparent that for some reason someone doesn't want the issue of giants brought up how tall do you think the little guy is in the middle on your cover of your book genesis six according to according to uh... the they claim he's right at uh, six feet when I, I got that from the uh... oh a group of people in london that have the only photos of these guys around also in the book i have a picture of a twelve foot two irish mummy and it's fascinating because uh... you know later in the show we can get into the mummy issue but the point that's fascinating is if you take guys that are all the way up to 36 feet tall, 20 feet tall, the emperor of China had two 15-foot guards. Charlemagne himself uh, was surrounded by rather large individuals. We have a Roman emperor named Maximinius who uh, was a giant himself. It's, it, his wife's uh, bracelet, George, would fit around his thumb. We're talking about people that are, uh, you know, we're talking about people with big egos, big appetites, and incredible strength. We're not talking about the medical situation that you see sometimes on the History Channel, where they show giants as being these guys that don't live very long, uh, obviously like uh, Andre the Giant, who was a wrestler. Right. We're talking about guys with unbelievable strength, unbelievable knowledge, and unbelievable wisdom. On the website, I even show some of the Incan kings, I-N-C-A-N, Inca, from the Inca Empire, uh, basically in the museums of Peru, that have four to five times the cranial mass of a standard uh, human skull. So we're not only talking about big guys, we're talking about people with incredible intelligence, and we're talking about an answer that obviously classical anthropology and archaeology, these guys don't want to deal with this. I think it was David Hatcher Childress that uh, coined the word Smithsonian Gate. In other words, a, a cover-up of history that's rather uh, pronounced, and when you begin to dig, as I began digging over 30 years ago, you can find out that the reports of, of newspapers in America, of newspapers around the world, interestingly enough, after I did uh, the last show with Art, somebody went on the website and they sent me a, from Eastern Europe, they've already sponsored a, uh, oh, I guess you'd say an undertaking to go into some of the caves where they found a whole, basically, cavern of giant skeletons. And, well, in, and the New Ancient American, which is a magazine that's put out in America, they found yes. the most contemporary... Uh, find it someplace in desert southwest and it actually shows the pictures of the giants shows the cave etc so basically interestingly enough too is that when you look at this you see that there is a very very how should i say skittish uh archaeological base out there that doesn't even want to deal with this 